Chris Borgatti from Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. We're at Martin Burns WMA, which is in Newberry, Massachusetts. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of property. There's brushland, there's forest, there's wetlands, a couple ponds, and we've been here all day cleaning up and trying to improve this, uh, this property as part of Mr. Mark Kenyon's uh, tour. Talk, I'll let you talk about that. Yeah, yeah, so we're here in partnership with BHA, of course, but uh, I'm running something this year called the Working for Wildlife Tour, in which I'm trying to help shine a spotlight on different conservation organization volunteer days across the country, showcasing the good work the hunters and anglers are doing all across this amazing nation to clean up public lands, to improve wildlife habitat, to increase access, whatever it might be. There's good work happening, but we could use more folks doing that. And I'm hoping that by traveling the country and participating in some of these, including today's event, that we can help encourage more folks to get out here and not only do that good work, but enjoy the energizing effect that I think getting on the ground and taking action to help wildlife in wild places has. And I think we, we saw that today. 100% we saw that. We often pull out a lot of people to come to a cleanup. 20, sometimes even 30 people will come out to do stewardship work. But with Mark's involvement, we had over 100 people register for this event. And it was a lot of hands uh, doing a lot of work out here. And um, there's one of the things that I think people realize is there's always more to do. And um, you don't necessarily have to go to a formal event necessarily to do it. There are so many, so many uh, formal events that people can participate in across a bunch of different great organizations, not just BHA. Um, and I think Mark's tour here is definitely shining the light on that, on that reality. Yeah, and I think another thing that at least is on my mind a lot is this fact that sometimes, as someone who cares about wildlife, as someone who cares about these kinds of places, you can feel like it's out of your hands at times when you see the bad news when you see a place you care about disappear when you see you know some headline about pollution in a river you love whatever it might be sometimes we can feel a little bit helpless uh, but i think that doing things like this where you actually take action and do something real and tangible i think that can give you a new sense of agency and in a small but tangible way show that hey you know, today i did something good i did something that helped and I think there's this opportunity for that to snowball. And I guess I can't speak for anybody but myself, but I know that for me, whenever I'm feeling bummed out about something like that, if I take action, if I do something, even if it's something as small as making a phone call or you know taking a walk behind the house and picking up some trash, it, it helps me A, feel better, but then gives me momentum to be able to take that next step. And so my hope coming out of today is that you know these dozens and dozens of folks here today feel energized and empowered to do something tomorrow or next week or next month and that this can build on it on itself and uh, you know months or years from now there's more and more and more good work being done um, and I think that's what we need when it comes to these places and these critters that we care so much about. Definitely and I think another big part of the success of today came from the fact that all these people were here and they met the people the state agency that manages this property and they got to see firsthand how passionate about these people, in this case, uh, Mass Wildlife, were about the properties that they manage. The people, the biologists, the technicians, the manager, district managers, and rather than just have like those conversations you hear all the time, like, oh, there's not enough deer, there's the habitat isn't good anymore, um, they could see, they could, they could engage, and I think it kind of like humanizes the that that relationship and the the conservation that that that's taking place um, right here it's exciting and i think the last thing i'll just toss in there is that not only is it about the relationships between you know state wildlife agency and hunters but you know hunters and anglers with other hunters and anglers yeah. like getting to be around like-minded people that care about these same things and realizing that we're not alone but being able to be in a community of other people that are all wanting to do something like this that i think has got some kind of special magic to it too. So I'm, I'm feeling charged. Yeah. Feeling good. Excited. Thank you so much for coming out. Yeah. My yeah. Pleasure. Thank you. I